everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here, and tonight I'm going to talk about my favorite seven ways to decrease stress. Now, um, I'm just enjoying some stress relieving things right now. Um, this is not what you think it is, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. It's not what you think it is. I will talk about this um, in just a minute, but one of the things right now, uh, I feel like more than ever, we are all battling so much stress and I want to just take some time to uh, mention the impact on especially the female body your health is cumulative all of the things that have you experienced in your life will impact how your system responds and has a sort of a trained response to big stressors in your life traumas big events even something sometimes positive is a big thing to go through but especially negative just realize your system has a lot to deal with. And if you've had traumas in the past, it is more likely to repeat the same trauma pattern because it's already ingrained. Neural pathways are already set. Yeah. So then what does that mean, right? So for those of you that don't know, um, I live in Minneapolis. And so again, there are, there's a lot of hard things going on for a lot of people. And as much as my heart goes out to so many people right now, I my mission here is to educate women on things you can do to really help your health improve and and take control of what you can take control of so that's what i spend my time doing and what i de devote my content to everything else if you're struggling with something though or you're lost or you're needing some help of some kind please do not hesitate to reach out to me i'm a resource and i always want to be a resource for women that need help so with that in mind, with everything that is happening now, the increased stress levels that we all have, I want you to recognize that we all feel it, right? It's one of those things to say, oh, it's fine, or ignore it, or keep moving, or all those things. Your body feels it, it knows. You're gonna have this response to it. You're gonna have a reaction to it. You can't fool it as much as you might want to. You can't fool it. Mm -mm. And it has some impact on your, on your life, right? So having a lot of stress, it can mess up your hormones. If you're going through a really tough stress event, it can interfere with your normal hormonal pattern. What does that mean? How does that look? Hmm. I can't tell you how many women I have heard from in the past six months because of the pandemic and, the, and everything in society, right? It's, it's too much to list. Every, right, I'm just gonna say everything. How many women are skipping periods, their periods late, all these things, your hormones get messed up. Cortisol's going out through the roof for people. You're getting more belly fat that you just can't lose because your system is responding in a strong way, right? So if you want more info on how I work with women, I'm just gonna put this here because it is something that a lot of people look for. Um, a link for my 12 week challenge, the wait list is right there. If you want more info, there it is, but I, really getting women this information is really, really vital because you need to realize that your system is going through this response and it's trained to do it. So it's important that you use different tools to help guide it to a different place, right? Veer the direction that it wants to go by using some of these tools, right? And these are just some of my favorites that I use when I need, hmm, yes. Because I know that my system is reacting to stress that's been happening, right? Last night there was a curfew in our city, tonight there's another curfew, right? It just, here we, here we go. So uh, on top of, like this is layered on top of other things in the schools and you know, I can't, you know, I'll, I just, I'm getting distracted by all the things and it's all the things, it's all the things. <laughs> um, so looking at the hormonal piece of it, it is really tough, it's really hard. Um, hi, Amy. <laughs> Red wine. I know it looks like wine, doesn't it? It's not. It's not wine. It's not wine. I'll tell you what it is in just a minute. Um, um, but hormones is a big piece that gets totally derailed by stress. Your energy levels, <laughs> stress, right? Sleep, <laughs> stress, right? Even if you're exhausted from stress, your body can have a really strong reaction and your body won't go to sleep. And, and if adrenaline starts kicking in at night, you're in trouble. So if you wake up just to go to the bathroom and your adrenaline kicks in because of all the stress, you're gonna have a really hard time calming your system down and going back to sleep. 
again, here are some of my favorite things to go through, right? Some of these are just different tools that I'll talk about. The first two are not a thing, but I have a little thing of, I have a list, I have like, I have props. I have props tonight, you guys. <laughs> I was excited. Again, this is not wine, but I'll tell you what it is. Mm -hmm. It's very good. Um, so, stress is bad for our bodies and it's hard to work through. And the more stress that gets layered on, the more we have to work through, the more tools you might need to use. Mm -hmm. So here are all my tools for tonight for me. <laughs> Breathing, deep breathing routines, right? This is as simple as taking deep breaths in through your nose slowly and out through your mouth. You can follow meditation breathing apps. There's things on YouTube, right? I use my Polar Watch for this. It has a little breathing serene thing that it literally tells me when to do it. So it keeps, the reason I love this is that my, it keeps my brain <laughs> tuned into it because I am one of those that will start breathing, relaxing. Here we go. Oh, wait, I forgot to push the laundry through. Oh, I got to do this. Oh my gosh. I got to write this down before it. That's not calming. <laughs> That's not calming. So having something that keeps me on track with my calming actually helps me be calm. If you don't need one, great. You can just go through some deep breathing techniques, but it's really important that you're doing that uh, increase in oxygen in your system. And it actually helps to force your muscle tissues to relax. There's a chemical reaction that takes place. It's very cool in the system. When you do deep breathing, it forces your diaphragm open, your ribs open and your body just relaxes. Hmm. It's so much better. If you're doing it right, you will feel and you're connecting with your body, your meat suit, You'll feel that difference. You will. Hugs, <clears throat> healthy touch, safe touch of any kind, right? This can be a touch on an arm, a touch with a person, right? I have the world's snuggliest husband. Holy cow. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> and this is a big one, especially for him. I know that, that it works. Releases oxytocin. 30 seconds, 30 second hug. Yep. Mm -hmm. Snuggle pets snuggle people, snuggle whatever. Um, even a weighted blanket can help increase that release of, of oxytocin and that nerve response in your body. Oxytocin is a beautiful thing. I would love to talk about this for an hour, but I'm gonna keep going with my list because that's what's helpful. Mm -hmm. CBD, getting a good quality CBD. Now, how can you use this? You can ingest it, you can rub it on. I also love putting this in bath. So if you're using like an Epsom salt bath to relax, also fantastic to relax. Put it right in there. Mm, gets through your skin. Yes, this stuff is amazing if you guys don't have a good CBD. I feel like everybody needs CBD right now. They should just like put it in the water supply for like a couple of days. Just a suggestion. All right, herbs. <laughs> These are some of my favorite things. Okay, I'm gonna go through these. By no means do you have to take all of them, whatever. These are just uh, information. Hey, I like using these sometimes. These can be helpful for other people too. Check it out, see if it's something that's interesting for you. Um, this first one is a homeopathic, Ignatia, right? This is really helpful, especially if you can't get your brain to wind down. Um, five little balls, you melt them under your tongue. There you go, easy peasy, right? This, and um, sometimes at night before going to bed, that's really, really helpful adaptogens. That's this one right here. This is actually um, a blend of adaptogens that's designed to help your body manage and mitigate stress really, really well. It's my favorite blend. And then I also added mangosteen juice just for extra antioxidants because stress is so harsh on my system. So I, today I was like, oh, I, I just, I just know it. I just know it that there's more free radicals and I want more antioxidant, right? I'm such a weirdo. Who does that, right? It's like, oh, I can't wait to have more antioxidants tonight. <laughs> this is the way I relax. It's helpful though. It's helpful, right? So that's my favorite thing to add in here. Mm -hmm. Besides that one, my other favorite thing, do not mix these. I Right, do not mix these two together. But this is a different one that I will use sometimes. This is um, cacao with reishi mushroom. Um, I just add some, um, I heat up some water and then I add a splash of almond milk to this just to make it a little bit, it's really, really good. And just nice, mm, right? Um, so this is my other favorite thing to add in to just kind of calm and chill at night, that cacao. 
Other thing to add in here when we're looking at relaxation, lavender. This is a, one of the most studied and popular essential oils ever and so, so helpful. For me. I use this on my kids, right? Put it in your bath. You can um, diffuse it in your house. You can even put little dots on the corners of your bed. <sighs> Helps the system calm and sleep. I would take some of this and rub a little coconut oil with it and put it on, on my kids' backs when they go to sleep. Kids are stressed too. Mm. Fun for the whole family there. Propolis. Um, I love this throat spray, bee propolis spray. Now, specific for stress fighting, you know what? When I'm under stress, I get like a more raw throat just because I'm stressed, right? Just because I'm stressed. Um, not because I'm sick or anything. But, the, you know, bee pollen, bee propolis, all these things super help, helpful for your immune system and just overall body vitality. That's why I love this. So one of the things that I add in for that. And then the last piece here is grounding. Now grounding, you can get outside, put your feet to the earth, you know, actually touch things in nature that are living, great. Um, or if you don't have that option, um, you can always use things. This is a, a friend of mine, um, Aaron, just an amazing apothecary. I want this to focus on this. It's not focusing, focus. Prairie Soap House and Apothecary. This is her Earth Serum. This is an amazing grounding serum. You can go to her Facebook, website, Instagram, all the things. Um, Earth Serum. And I just like to take a little squirt and I will <clears throat> rub it on my hands, rub it on my feet, rub it on my legs, right? Just a grunt, right? So if I am able to get outside and connect with nature, awesome. That's a great way to ground. It does, it like just de-stresses you. Or again, tools. Again, if I'm stressed and it's the middle of the day and I'm looking for tools to help me get through the day, sometimes I will grab this and that will help. Now, the one thing I do wanna say about using like any and all of the things, right? Is it just like, should you just dive right into all of them? Not necessarily, right? You know, it, throughout today, have I done all of these things? Yes. I have done all of these things throughout the day. I did not do all of them at once, at one point, right? I am using the tools as I need, right? Okay, so this morning I took some CBD. Yep, there we go. So that was my CBD for the day. Um, I, don't, I don't feel like I need another serving, <clears throat> that type of a thing. I had some herbs uh, earlier, I had Ignatia earlier, and now I'm having these adaptogens mm -hmm, at night. Now again, these can do different things in the body and system, so, you know, um, just making you aware of that. Uh, lavender, I already put lavender on my, uh, like in the corners of my bed right now, because <clears throat> my youngest is in my bed, because she was having a hard time too, so I make her a little nest of pillows, and I put my weighted blanket on her and she snuggles in there. So there's already lavender, it's got that going. It's got my propolis you saw and grounding. I was outside earlier, um, but I'm gonna put this on my feet before I go to bed too. So again, is it wrong to do all of them at once? No, but I typically don't and I like to use certain ones when I need them and what's gonna fit best for what I am going through at that time. <sighs> this is a way to focus your energy on improving your well-being, right? improving where you're at because once you're in a better place you're able to take care of other people better too one of the greatest things that i've realized over working with you know thousands of women is when women feel better we can make such an impact it's so true i'm not kidding i had a call yesterday with a gal and she said you know one of my favorite things, one of my favorite changes, we were updating on how things were going. She said, one of my favorite changes is that I'm happier and I'm just better. And I was like, what do you mean better? She's like, I, everything is better. She goes, I feel like I'm a better mom. I'm way more patient with my kids. I, I feel like, you know, I've, I'm having more fun with my husband because I'm not completely exhausted at the end of the day. Okay, like that's amazing. She goes, I'm actually more focused at work. I'm enjoying the work that I'm doing now. I used to love it and I feel like I've been burned out. 
and I thought it was the work and it was just too much stress, but she's like, I'm realizing it was me. I wasn't the healthy, strong, vibrant person I used to be. And that's changing, right? She's like, I'm so excited. I've lost three inches off my waist, you know, all of these things. I'm down six pounds, blah, blah, blah. Like, okay, great. Like, that's awesome, right? I'm not denying any of those things, right? Her body's getting healthier and she's seeing some results, fantastic. But the thing that she said was so powerful was how it was changing her life. And the thing I love about that is that, that, that there's that ripple effect, right? There's a ripple effect there. That's amazing. I, I mean, it's so wonderful to have an impact on somebody and have her be super excited about buttoning pants that she couldn't button lance last month. Awesome, yay, <laughs> right, cool. Not as much of a ripple effect, right? Like the impact of making women just function better, your, your systems function better, you feel better, you can have a better impact. That's the just wonderful thing that I notice. And it's so much fun to go through. So if you're listening to this and you're thinking, oh my gosh, yes, I need to do all of these things three times over, holy cow, yes, right? Absolutely. <laughs> you do what you need to do, right? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. But I want you to realize that there's also no wrong way to deal and handle with what you're going through right now. A lot of women have histories of trauma. A lot of us take on the stress of others. That's going to impact yourself too. So, however, you need to move through what you're moving through right now is okay and use the tools that you need. If you need other tools or if you're needing other help, again, do not hesitate to reach out to me. I love being a resource for women. That, that's what's, oh, again, I love it. I love, love, love doing this work. And if you're looking for a, a group of women, if you're looking to, you know, really shift some things in your life, again, the 12 week challenge is there in the comments. You can get on that wait list. Other resources I have for you. I have a YouTube channel called Dr. Beth Westy. Tons of videos there on all things women's health. My podcast is called The Female Health Solution. And then uh, books on Amazon, The Female Fat Solution, The Female Menopause Solution, all of these things. Realize that, again, your system is unique and you might need different tactics, different tools to make it through this time and come out on the other end a stronger, vibrant person that can, again, make a huge impact. So that's what I got for you guys tonight. Please let me know if you have any questions or if I can do anything else to help. Otherwise, I will see you later. Have a great night. And uh, you know what? One more thing, one more thing. I wanna know if you try anything new from this list and if you like it. Send me a message, drop me a comment, whatever it is. Cheers. <laughs>